we all have two people. We have the easy voice, which is that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is a voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing sh. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Turn up this voice and listen to the truth. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this sh When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say f you, uh-uh, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says Fuck. He's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this fucking thing out. So then, these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, Fuck. okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. You should fucking quit. You should quit fucking quitting. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be fucking hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the bleeding, without the pain, without the depression, without the misery. Nobody. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Every single day you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I willing to do to get what I want? And if the answer is, whatever the fuck I have to, you'll get there in time. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You have to constantly owe that motherfucking machine. The machine is your mind. You gotta keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life.